This battery claims 300 amps continuous. All right, I have an inverter that can uh, provide a load that large. So I say we hook uh, my inverter up to it, pull a 300 amp load, and then I've removed the screws from this lid here so I can peer inside. And we will film the inside with a thermal camera to see if we have any hot spots to see how long can it handle 300 amps? Because it's rated 300 amps charging and discharging. Just crudely connected my 4,000 watt inverter to the battery. Now this battery does not have a screen on the, on the front to look at, so I'll be using my clamp meter to uh, measure amperage power draw. This battery does have a really nice Bluetooth app, so I'm not really too concerned about the screen, because if you think about it, most of the time when you mount these batteries, they're tucked away in an area where you can't really get to a screen per se. For a load, I have three heaters. <laughs> And combined, if I turn them all on high, this will pull over 320 amps. Now, if I go, if I do one click on the heat gun, we're now at 287 amps. 287 amps. We're at 12 minutes at 285 amps. So we're very close to the 300 amp threshold. I just measured the internal temperature and I saw that the, the cells themselves are staying nice and cool. The BMS and the wiring coming out of the cells was about 75 degrees C, that was the hottest point. That was 25 minutes at 304 amps above the maximum rated threshold for this battery. And in my opinion, it passed the test.